What's up everybody? Yeah, I know it's been a while since I uh, posted. I got lazy, got busy, shit happens. This video is explaining how my three kids became famous, semi-famous influencers, whatever you want to call it. No, I mean, they got pretty famous in a short time, but me, I was actually the first one that was ever on YouTube, like, I don't know, six or seven years ago. I was like uh, making uh, YouTube videos, showing some martial arts uh, moves and, and stuff like that. It's actually easier to get on and get monetized. I mean, you could get monetized right away back then, but now it's like a freaking uh, pain in the butt to get uh, monetized. You gotta have like a uh, thousand subscribers and 4,000 uh, 4, watch hours or some crap like that, but stopped at McDonald's, got the, uh, the classic triple cheeseburger, just left the gym. What happened and how they got started was Brandon when he was, I guess, still in college, or right out of college, I can't remember. So much shit has gone on since then. But he, his mother, if you don't know, she's a body painter, or used to be a body painter, I don't know if she still does it, but she paints paint on people's naked body and they walk around like they're wearing freaking clothes. She did that and Brandon got the idea of starting to make YouTube videos of her body painting people and he posted it online and it did pretty good he did some semi-famous people like they went to california once did bradley martin and traveled around did other people stuff like that started to build a following and i think at the same time they were building their um instagram followings as well after that you know they kind of started to slow down because i guess you could only go so far with you know doing body painting people get the idea right away and <clears throat> after a while it gets boring seeing people getting their naked bodies getting painted unless you're some kind of freaking pervert and then kennedy uh, was getting just getting out of her senior year of high school and she decided instead of going to college right away she would give youtube a try for a year and if it didn't work out i guess she'd go back to college if it did work out yay you know she's making money for making videos she started her youtube channel and she's you know as you know she's a character she's a good looking kid she freaking blew up in like 11 months she got um a million subscribers and and while she was blowing up brandon got on the bandwagon and was i guess what you would call he was stealing her clout or he was a clout chaser and people from her channel started following his channel and he picked up I guess random people here and there and before long he was at 50,000 subscribers and then they were coming over to my house and they started making videos with me and their mom or he started making videos with me his mom and Kennedy and Claudia his channel pretty much uh, took off from there and he he grew he grew fairly quickly it took him a lot longer to get to a million than it did uh, Kennedy and while he was building his channel Claudia was still in nursing school I guess she started to build hers while she was in nursing school Nothing worse than cold McDonald's fries. Anyway, Claudia started building her channel. She she grew slowly because she was still in nursing school and deciding what she was going to do, whether she's going to go nursing full time and do you know and not do YouTube or do nursing part time like two days a week and do YouTube videos. I think that I remember her telling me that. Applied at one place for a nursing job and apparently didn't get it, so she went to YouTube full time and um, her channel started taking off. They were all basically doing YouTube 24 seven, making it work. And, and that was probably, it started like four years ago and it's progressed to what it is now, you know, slowly over time, they got bigger and bigger. They had their ups and downs. I think now like Kennedy was steady making YouTube videos for a while, at least once a week. And now I think she makes maybe one once a month. Brandon really, he, he went at it pretty hard. You know, he had his whole family in it. Then he got his friends in it and then he got random people and then he started collabing with other people. And for a while there, it was like every week they were coming to my house to do videos, which gave me a chance to see my kids. Cause usually when your kids grow up, they get jobs, do their own thing, you know, have relationships, get married, and you never freaking see them again. So that, because of YouTube, we were all still hanging out together. They were still living at their mom's, which wasn't that far from where I am. It's only about 20, 25 minutes away. That got old, and I think she started getting tired of them messing her house up, making videos all the time. So Kennedy moved out first, then Claudia, 
and then Brandon, Corey, and Nick got their own place, you know, they, things changed. The dynamic of the channel kind of changed. You know, well, you have to show up here, you have to come over, now, now I gotta drive an hour when they want me to be in one of their videos, or they gotta drive an hour to come to my house, you know, that type of thing. Things have changed, the quality of the videos have changed, the equipment has gotten better. The quality is like, in Brandon's videos is like, ridiculous it's like cinematic it's like watching it's like watching a movie and he's got like a really good uh, editor and, and Nick and Corey do most of the filming you know that's what they do seven days a week pretty much and then he did a collab with Jesse I mean I had seen Jesse pop up on um, my YouTube uh, channel when I'm scanning through the videos I didn't know who the frick he was I mean I just thought was some dude trying to make a name for himself and Brandon set up a collaboration with him and Claudia was in it and of course they was love at first sight and now we got you know now we make videos with Jesse I mean I made one with him a couple months ago with that bodybuilder chick that was pretty hilarious one thing and I know some people get it some people might not get it you know I see in the comments like oh that that's scripted that's fake that's cringy when I do a video with people especially if I don't I've never met him before. Like when I did a video with Jesse, that bodybuilder girl, uh, his assistant was there. I never knew her. I never met Brittany. And the people that were filming for him that day, I never met them. So the first thing I usually ask is, are, are we? Are there boundaries, or are there no boundaries? So like, if, if you're not comfortable with foul mouth, dirty jokes, or obnoxious comedy, you know. I'll, I'll tone it down a little bit you know for that video everybody was like no boundaries anything goes and it's never scripted it's never rehearsed when I show up for a video whether it's for Brandon or or Jesse um, I just ask what do you want me to do and it's all off the cuff I just ad lib as I go and it's rare that we have to ever shoot anything twice because I pretty much get it done right the first freaking time you know like when we did the video where we kidnapped Jesse the PowerPoint uh, presentation that I did, walked in, asked Brandon, what do you want me to be? And that's it. Pops, shit popped up on the screen. And I just said whatever came into my brain, you know? And, and that's pretty much how all those videos go. There's no rehearsal. There's no, oh, you gotta get it right. It's gotta be just like this. You gotta say it just like this. No, because when you do it like that, <clears throat> then people know it's fake, it sucks, and it looks fucking stupid, so. Not to be arrogant, but I'm pretty good at what I do when they ask me to do it, you know? I'm just a fucking character, and they're all characters as well. And we have fun. Yeah, last summer, towards the end of the summer, early fall, we did that scooby dooby doo video in the city. I mean, that, was, that took, like, all day. And everybody was hot, they were tired, and they were hungry and freaking irritated. It's not all fun and games. It's not as easy as people think. You know, it takes... A whole lot of effort, a whole lot of time, and you got to plan what you're going to do. And hopefully, when everybody shows up, the shit rolls the right way. Nine times out of ten, it does. And then there's times when, oh man, that looks really stupid. I'm not going to post this video. <laughs> so, there's videos that never made it to YouTube. I mean, some I did with Brandon, and didn't see that video. Oh, we're not using that. It just it didn't didn't work out right. It was fun doing it, but. Yeah, I mean, that's what they did. They busted their asses, you know, and they do it constantly, whether it's just posting images on Instagram in their story or doing a quick uh, product presentation or just going over what they eat in the day, clothing haul, all that kind of stuff. And, um, you know, I mean, I think Claudia does more of that than the other two. Brandon does some of that stuff, but some of the stuff he doesn't want to be bothered with. His mentality is, mm, if it's not worth doing, I'm not doing it. And that's the way I look at it. If I'm not getting paid for it, I'm not doing it. It's it's bonding time for the Walsh family and the rest of the characters involved. I just wanted people to understand how it happened and what it takes and, you know, it's not, you know, as simple as people think. People think, well, we're just sitting around filming stuff and then putting it on YouTube and hoping for the best. Now it doesn't work that way. I mean, yeah, some people, in the beginning, yeah, you can get away with that, just doing simple vlogs and posting it online and, you know, some people get lucky and get a shit ton of views and other people, their videos went up for a month and they got 300 views. 
I mean, it's about making money. Because if you do it right, and you have good content, and you get enough people watching every week, you can make a lot of fucking money on YouTube. I mean, it was life-changing for all of them. Who wants to go work a nine-to-five job? I mean, some people have no choice, but things have changed since the, uh, the scamdemic started. I think that term's appropriate now. We all understand what's, what's going on. Even cold McDonald's french fries are still tasty.